We're going to do a quick recap of finding the lowest common multiple. Um, and the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to start looking um, at solving equations that are something like one of these two here. In other words, equations that have got a whole lot of revolting fractions in them. And we're going to want to get rid of the revolting fractions. And the most efficient way to do that is going to be to multiply through by the lowest common multiple of the denominators that we see. So let's just quickly recap finding that lowest common multiple, and then we'll go on to showing you how to use that to solve the equations. All right, so finding the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8, you first have to just write down the multiples, just a few of the multiples of 6, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and then you start writing down the multiples of 8, and you're looking for something that these have in common, in other words, that are the same. So you stop as soon as you see a multiple of 8. That's already in your list for the multiples of 6. So you write down and suddenly you see there your 24 is already in that list of the multiples of 6. And so you know your lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. Now the quick example, if we needed to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 12, Again, just write down some of the multiples of 4, and then you're going to start writing down the multiples of 12, and as soon as something appears that's already in that list of the multiples of 4, you'll stop. And you write down 12 as your first multiple of 12, and that's already in that list for the multiples of 4, so you don't need to go any further. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 12 is 12.